All right, so this video is going to cover a couple things. One is for people who have 2.4 gigahertz wireless equipment that has trouble connecting to uh, routers provided from your cable or your telephone company. And then the other part of it is just kind of a review of the RPAC55 uh, wireless extender. So uh, if you have 2.4 gigahertz equipment, this is a great product to buy because it uh, will allow you to protect or connect equipment to the uh, network that doesn't normally work. So this is a, an Asus uh, phone. Asus phones are good in that they have uh, two SIM cards and they're cheap, but the cheap models don't have uh, 5 gigahertz internet on them. So uh, if you want to bring that onto the network and you're renting or whatever, if you've got the uh, a Bell 3000 as an example of a router, it's probably not going to work. And it doesn't matter how much you try to get the signal powerful and close to it, it just can't handshake and get on the network. So uh, what I've done here is with this product is I have extended the wireless network from the landlord upstairs and uh, made two new channels with it. So I have a repeat 2.4 gigahertz channel and a 5.0 gigahertz channel. And with it being a mesh extender, it actually, everything is on the network and can see each other, even though it's across three different uh, channels, basically. Like there's the original 5 gigahertz equipment, and then the extended 2.4 and 5 gigahertz equipment, and it's all on the network together. So I'll just show you that on the screen here. So this uh, server here is at 2.4 gigahertz. This receiver is at 2.4 gigahertz and it's wired into this uh, port. And you can use that port as an access point or as a, uh, like to connect it to a switch or a router or a modem. There's a lot of different options you can do with that. If you get the other brands of uh, extenders, they only work as an extender. You have to buy a different product if you want an access point. So anyway, if you take a look on here, you'll see the desktop computer there, which is the server. Then the RN602 is that guy there. And then uh, there's some other computers. So this computer, as you can see, it's on repeat 2.4. This computer here is on repeat 5.0 and uh, we'll bring up the uh, router because this is where it gets really interesting. So, just got to find my mouse. So you go one to the, uh, what do you call it there? If you did IP config, this would be your gateway, I guess you call it. So it thinks it's Bell 584. And you go on to devices. And the password is just admin on these things. It's going to show everything on the house and it thinks it's on like the primary network like this extender is completely seamless like it doesn't even exist on the network however it works so there's a, a bunch of different equipment if you were to go into uh, command like cmd type in ip config you'll see your gateway and everything. So you're all on the same network. So that's pretty cool because on a lot of the uh, Bell network equipment, like this one is set up to span. I'm not sure if I can show you that or not. So it, somewhere here,
Maybe manage Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's a whole home Wi-Fi is on. So it's uh, broadcasting the 2.4 and the uh, 5.0 gigahertz at, uh, on the same channel. And if I were to turn that off, it would mess things up in the house. So I'm not going to do that. We could split the uh, two networks, but then the devices wouldn't see each other between the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz equipment, and that would be kind of annoying. So it's best if you just use the, the Wi-Fi extender. I think this was like 60 bucks Canadian or something like that. And uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm glad I went with Asus instead of getting a TP-Link or Netgear or whatever. The, there's another brand there. It's fairly popular. But this thing was like cheap. And it works out of the box and uh, it's quite fast as well. So... I'm just trying to think of if you cover everything I wanted to cover here or not. So it allows you to get stuff on the network. It allows you to do wired. I could plug a 24 port switch into this if I wanted to and then bring in more wired equipment. Like my preference is to be wired for the most part where I can. And uh, before I start rambling on anymore, I think we've covered what we want. So this is uh, pretty good. It'll extend your network it'll fix your network problems that you've got. So I think it's a, a good product to buy. So thank you for watching.